guys, it's Caleb from JC Sports doing another Ask the Pro interview with um, Memo Rodriguez. Memo Rodriguez is a pro soccer player that is part of the Houston Dynamo team. He is also considered an important Houston Dynamo homegrown player. Memo also was part of the Houston Dynamo team that won the Open Cup in 2017. Hi, is it okay if I call you Memo? Yeah, it's Memo is perfect. Everybody goes by Memo. Would you like to say a couple of things about yourself for those people that, that may not know you? Yeah, I'll say a few words, try to keep it short and sharp. Um, I'm currently on the Dynamo team, as you mentioned. Uh, I played for the Dynamo Academy for three to four years. And ever since there, then I made my, my step into the professional atmosphere. And, and, I, and I'm glad that get, I'm here now. Um, the, the Academy really made me have that professional experience to get where I'm at. And obviously the clubs before that, um, Estonians was um, also a big, big um, for my um, development. And, and I can't thank them enough to where I'm at now. Um, yeah, so um, we're ready to get these questions going and, and learn a little bit more about me and, and the questions that you got for me. Hopefully they're not too hard. How did you get the nickname Memo? Um, it goes by my middle name, Guillermo, short. Um, it's short for Guillermo, so that's why everybody calls me Memo. And my real name's Jose, um, Jose Guillermo Rodriguez Jr., um, but everybody calls me Memo. Okay. So what's your first professional goal, and what is your favorite goal that you've scored? Um, my first professional goal was um, against Montreal. Um, was it in 16? I think it was in 2016 against Montreal, and it was, um, I think, July 4th weekend, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And my best goal was against Montreal as well. I think it was last year, um, left-footed strike outside the box, um, and it was just a special one for me. So how, how, how is it different to play with the Dynamo Academy and with the Dynamo team? Um. It's it's different. It's it's way different. Um, when you're there with the Dynamo Academy, uh, sometimes um, I would dribble three to four guys, um, kids. Back in the day, we were teenagers. Um, the speed of game is so much faster now at the professional level. You can't, you can get, you can still do it, but it's just a little bit more tougher, and, and you just gotta think so much faster at this level. It's just a, the MLS is a whole different beast. Um, Obviously, you're playing with um, friends and, and people that you know with in the Dynamo Academy, and, and you have a lot of fun. And you still have fun at the professional level, but it's all about winning. And I think that's what really – people that really influenced me it, since the get-go, since I was young, that everything's about winning, and, and you want to win everything possible. So what was your favorite goal, like, ever? Like, it doesn't matter, like, if you watched it or anything like that. That I scored or that somebody else scored? Somebody else scored. Um, I think it was Cristiano Ronaldo's um, bicycle kick against Juventus um, in the Champions League. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, um, but it was it was a great goal. Um, even the they played at the Juventus Stadium, and even even their fans after he scored clapped for him. And uh, just the way he how high he got up when he did the bicycle kick was amazing. And it's not something that everybody can do, and that's why he's a special player. Mm -hmm. So what is your favorite position to play and why? Um, so currently I play left wing or right wing, um, but throughout my whole career I played center mid, like as a number 10, the attacking midfielder. And I like being the attacking midfielder just because you create um, so much for your team. You, you can you can dribble, dribble players, um, you can pass to your team, assist, you can score. And obviously, as a midfielder, you always want to get the ball, and, and that's what I like to do. I like to, to have the ball at my feet to, to create something for, for the team. So who's your favorite soccer player? Favorite soccer player? Um, so I think um, back in the day when in, Iniesta, Iniesta um, was playing, he, I really like to watch his um, highlight videos because he would always have the ball close to his feet. Um, you could never take the ball away from him. He, was, he wasn't the fastest, he wasn't the biggest, he wasn't the strongest, but he was always one of the smartest players to get a, 
find a way around players. Um, now, um, I watch a lot of Bernardo Silva um, for Man City. He, he plays a little bit of my position. He's the same way. He's left-footed. Um, I'm not left-footed, but he is, and he's small. He's not the fastest, not the strongest either, but um, he's one of the smartest players in the world right now, and, and I really um, like to see his his game. Um, so those are those are a few players that I really see and, and try to imitate with. Um, also, Coutinho, who, who plays for – Byron now, um, I, li I like to watch him. He's just a crafty player and, and just like the way they play and, and just see myself in them because I, I can I could imitate what, what they do is as long as I keep working hard and, and training it. If there was another sport you could play, what would it be and why? Another sport that I would play and why? Um, I would have to say basketball, um, just because there's not um, there's obviously a lot of running, and a lot of change of direction, but um, it's a shorter field. Um, I think if I had the stamina that I have now into a basketball court, I think I would be flying. It's just a matter of me trying to find the handling of the ball, and, and obviously them guys are super tall, and so it'll be it'll be super tough for me to to play even in the basketball in the basketball game, but if it were my decision to play in any other sport, I would I would play basketball just because it's it's fun and you do a lot of the movements, a lot of the switching movements that you do in soccer and basketball. So it'll be just a fun sport to play with. So what do you do in your free time? Because um like during this time you really have a lot of free time to do stuff. So like what do you do? So right now, um since we're in quarantine and, and it's tough just to do anything. Um, our team has an app that sends those workouts. Um, so we work out in the morning, obviously from home. Um, they give us um, weights and, and stuff that we could, we could do for our workouts. So I work out in the mornings. Um, like Mondays, Mondays and Fridays are like our double day. So we, I ran in the morning. Um, tonight, I will ride a bike because they, they rented out bikes for us, a stationary bike. So I'll do bike at night and in the middle of the day, just it just depends. I play video games, I watch TV shows, um, do puzzles. It's just constant. I'm just on constant on social media. Um, so it's just a lot of stuff that I do in between that. Um, I try to do my best and, and stay stay active because in this situation you could you could go crazy not doing anything. So um, other than that. Um, I try to do anything that I can with a with a soccer ball um, in the backyard just to get the basics going and, and be ready for whenever the season starts back up. So um, I've heard that you've been doing some Twitch live streaming, and mm -hmm. so like, what do you normally play when you're doing it? Um, so I play Fortnite. Um, also, I play Call of Duty. Um, it's more so of me trying to get active with with the fans and and try to um, associate with them because obviously they they want to go to the games and be at the stadium with us and and have that incitement. So I just try to get on live just so they can see my face and have my fans interact. I mean, obviously there's not a lot of people that watch it because people might think it's boring, but I don't do it just like because of the video games. I I stream because I want to get interaction with with the fans and and say hello to them um as best as i can and but other than that i i enjoy i enjoy gaming as well but uh it's more for the fans to see to see me and and ask questions and if they're not too hard then i'll be able to answer them so for those who are watching and are interested in becoming a pro soccer player can you tell us about some information of what to do and where to begin yeah um well, for me, I started at the age of five. So all my life, I've known soccer. Um, I, I try to do my best, even when I was a teenager and until now, just to do the hard work um, when nobody's watching. Um, at the end of the day, if you know that you're working hard and, and you're pushing yourself to your limits, um, you'll, you'll make it far. I mean, if it's not in soccer, then in anything you do, um, so say you want to be a musician, if you want to be an artist, um, try to work at that um, when people are not looking. I mean, obviously you have training sessions with, with your team and 
and stuff like that. But if you want to get more out of it, um, do stuff that in your backyard that, that nobody's seeing you do. Keep on working on your touch, um, being able to just get a little bit more experience than everybody, just work harder than, than everybody and, and you'll be able to um, make it to the top and, and hopefully fulfill your dreams. So now we're going to play a game called Impossible Decisions. I will give you two choices and you can only choose one. So okay. um, there's going to be six questions. So Six questions. So um, first one, would you rather live in a world without sun or without soccer? A world without sun or soccer. Now, um, I would live with the world without sun. I mean, I just love soccer. It's just, it's just my passion. I don't think you can take that away from me. Not yet, at least. So the second question. Would you rather score a hat trick or a goal in the last minute? Score a hat trick or a goal in the last minute? Um, am I winning in any of these games? Yes. If I see, um, I think scoring a goal in the last minute for for the fans, you know, it's just something that everybody's gonna get excitement from. Okay, so here's the third question: Would you rather miss an unmissable shot or score an own goal? Missing a miss, uh, say that again. Miss an unmissable shot or score an own goal. Missing a missable shot or scoring an own goal? Uh, I think missing a missable shot for sure. I would, wouldn't want to score my team unless we were up like 4 0. So, this is the fourth one. Would you rather um, live in a world without ice cream or without cookies? I live without a world without ice cream or cookies. I think I would live without ice cream because I love cookies. Would you rather live in a world where you can only play American football or baseball? Mm, I think I would say that again. Would you rather live in a world where you can only play American football or baseball? Oh, I would definitely play American football. Baseball is just not, I mean, it's fun, but not, not as fun as football. So this is the last question. Would you rather be invisible or be able to time travel? Be invisible or time travel? Hmm. I would be invisible. So, um, thanks for um, being with me today and like answering all these questions. And to those who are watching, thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you.